Hey guys, Brandon from Yachts to Sea here. Today I'm going to give you a quick tour of this Rubalo 226 Cayman. The Cayman is Rubalo's bay boat and it's a great multi-purpose boat meant to handle a wide variety of conditions. Now this boat only drafts 12 inches so it's comfortable in shallow water, but its deep freeboard and forward V give you and your family plenty of security in rough water conditions as well. There's a ton of seating for friends and family, so if you want to take the boat out tubing, skiing for the day, it can do all that as well. Let's take a closer look at some of its features. Let's start off at the transom of the boat. Now the first thing you'll notice is the nice four-step ladder. It makes for really easy boarding in deep water. The standard motor on this boat is a Yamaha 154 stroke, but we've upgraded to the 200 horse. This comes standard with Sea Star hydraulic steering and a stainless steel prop. As we step into the cockpit, you get a look at the anodized aluminum leaning post with the four rocket launcher rod holders on back. Below is a 54 quart cooler held in place with brackets and bungees. The vinyl on the leaning post is 36 ounces with a 10 mil top coat, which is easily one of the best in the industry. And here's a look at the helm. We have the upgraded steering wheel with control knob. Comes standard with Yamaha command link gauges. There's two stainless steel cup holders, stainless steel switches with circuit breakers alongside, stereo controls, and the Garmin Color touchscreen GPS. Below you'll find a storage compartment which houses the battery on off switch. There's also a built-in footrest to lock your feet into place when using the leaning post. And here's a look at the capacity plate. This boat's rated for eight passengers. We have this boat equipped with the flip down windscreen, which is a really great option if you want to put the boat inside your garage or possibly a low clearance area. All you have to do is unscrew a knob on either side and then the windshield folds down to give you a height that's basically even with the top of the console. Here's a look at the aft casting platform and the jump seat. Plenty of leg room in front of the jump seat and a grab handle built into the leaning post. The jump seat has a nice high backrest and when you fold it flat it gives you a big casting platform covered in non-skid everywhere. All the hardware back here is flush mounted also so there's no tripping hazards anywhere. The rear port compartment has a five gallon bucket and the compartment in front of that is one of the three live wells. This is a 30 gallon live well, has an aerator, and it's insulated so it can be used as a fish box also. On the opposite side, the rear compartment stores the ladder. Forward of that, you have another 30 gallon live well. You also have a divider in here so you can separate your bait. One more feature back here in the motor well. You have the outlet for the raw water washdown. I want to try to give you an idea of the overall room this boat has to move about. Now both of the side decks include rod storage for two and a full length bolster on the sides. There's a nice open walkway leading to the bow of the boat. It's about 15 inches wide. This makes it really nice to move about. You have high freeboard on the sides and the bolsters so there's plenty of security when you're moving around. Another feature, the entire top deck's covered in non-skids, so you can step up here, get an in and out of the boat, and you can actually stand up here to fish from that point as well. Here's a look at the forward casting platform. Now this entire area, once again, is covered in non-skid. Off the bow, you have an anchor locker and a mounting spot for the bow fishing seat, which is equipped on this boat. This boat also has the optional Minn Kota 24 volt trolling motor with 80 pounds of thrust and the eye pilot. Mounts off the bow of the boat there. Now inside the center locker you'll find the third live well, also 30 gallon, insulated once again. And on the sides you have the rod lockers. These are lockable and they store five or six rods each. They open forward, giving you really easy access to get in there. 
tons of room, really nicely finished off on the inside. One of the great things about the 226 is how you can convert it to become a family pleasure boat as well. This is not a single use boat. We have this boat equipped with the bow cushion option and the bow backrest option so you get lots of extra seating and even a sun pad up in the front of the boat. You're basically getting room in this boat similar to that which you'd find in an open bow runabout. There's grab handles on the side for extra security and you have plenty of room to actually use this as a sun pad for when the family wants to lay out and catch some sun. The forward facing seat on the console has room for one or possibly even two with a grab handle below. This is actually a door which leads to a step down privacy compartment. We have the optional porta potty in this boat. It's extremely rare to find this in a 22 foot boat. And inside the door, you'll find dedicated storage for the bow fishing chair. The 226 Cayman comes packaged with an aluminum trailer from the factory. This is a standard feature. Now we've added the spare tire and mount option and the aluminum wheel upgrade as well. As far as covers go, it comes standard with a full trans shield cover for storage. We've also added the console cover and leaning post cover options. That wraps up today's tour of the Riballo 226 Cayman. Thanks for joining us here today at Yachts to Sea. If you'd like to find out some more info on this boat, you can check it out on our website at yachtstosea.com or give us a call at 888-369-4501.